Hey everyone, Donnie here. Thanks for joining me today on this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77RC. When we return, I have the WL Toys. This is a 124019, right after this. Hey, welcome back everyone. I appreciate you joining me today on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new here, definitely hit the subscribe and the notifications so you can see what's coming up next on Big Drone Flyer 77 RC. Well guys, I got everything out of the box. Um, this thing looks really neat. I really like the purple, you know. I know some guys were kind of skeptical about it, but once you get it in hand, the purple looks pretty good with the white rims and stuff like that. Um, I like the purple uh, caps on the shocks and things like that. These are all metal shocks. They are full of oil. Uh, thing I have noticed uh, with so far these newer WL toys is that they overfilled some of these shocks, you guys. So uh, this right front one here, you can see I can't hardly, uh, there's no there's no give on the suspension, so it's overfilled, you guys. So uh, before I could do a run, I'm definitely gonna have to open this up, take some oil out, uh, definitely want to go and service uh, the differentials, make sure they got some grease in there. I like to use high temp uh, wheel bearing grease. I've used that for years on all my RCs and it seems to work out really good. Uh, unless you're working with something like a Traxxas where I, I use more of a uh, one million. Uh, so that one, uh, those are a lot different, but for these smaller cars like this, just that grease that I'm using, uh, wheel axle high temp grease works perfect, you guys. So definitely going to have to service all that up. Definitely going to have to let some uh, oil out. Even this one just got a little bit of give. You know, if you're jumping, you know, uh, you could blow out these shocks pretty easy. So you definitely want to let some of that out. If you're just running on the street and you've got it, this wouldn't be too bad if you have a little extra oil or a thicker oil. It'll help keep this on the ground if you're doing speed runs, things like that. But, you know, any kind of batching or anything, um, yeah, this one's not bad at all. That's the way it should be. But uh, you definitely, uh, you're definitely definitely going to have to check your, your shocks out, you guys, on this. So um, I'm going to make it a little more bouncier in case I want to jump off a ramp or something like that. Um, or any hills, things like that. But you can lower sus the suspension. There's a lot of good videos out there um, that show you how to do that, which is pretty simple. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna really lower this. If I do, maybe just a hair, if I'm doing a speed run, or if I wanna go and switch this over to brushless system, which I may do. Um, I already have a motor. I just haven't decided if I wanted to put in the 144001 or in this one yet, but I do have a servo and ESC ready to go in this. Um, I might do it in this one. So I like the longer, um, I like the, uh, how they stretched out the frame on this one. So it is longer. You can see, I'll go and compare these two, show you in a video clip here, but uh, they're pretty close. It just stretched it out quite a bit in the front, but it looks like the, I don't have no mic on me or anything. It looks like it's still the same wheelbase so it they didn't go any wider on this they just went a little bit longer guys so but it still has a 550 motor just like the 144001 so basically all the same in there let me open this up so here's the motor and the esc they did change the esc they went with the newer one that's got a red push button on there the original one did not so um, it had this other little switch up here so you would turn that switch on uh, this one's a push button and some of the guys even one of my buddies david from perth west saws he went ahead and, and ran a 3s on this and it did fine but when he ran a 3s on this uh the sc smoked right away guys so i don't recommend that so i always let uh, him go and try that out and if it don't work for him i know it's not going to work for this one you guys uh, there might be one or two of you guys that may luck out and get one pass out of it but you're gonna end up smoking it guys so I would just wait until you upgrade to a brushless system that can run 3s so but anyways that's basically it um, you got your USB charger I use like an Apple uh, uh, little connector here 
uh, adapter and plug it in and then you could plug the the charge port right here and charge it from there but I like to use a hobby grade charger so uh, I won't be using this I like to make sure both cells are charged evenly and then when I'm not using uh, the car or this battery for a while I'll put it in a stored charge so that's why you want to get a hobby grade charger I'll leave a link down in the descriptions for that you guys I did purchase this myself this is something that I wanted uh, matter of fact a buddy of mine his name's Kurt and he ended up ordering these from Maker Fire and got them way earlier than uh, everybody else that was ordering from China. And what he did is he bought a big batch of these, you guys. He's in the United States, so if you're looking to get one within a few weeks, uh, I'll definitely leave his uh, Facebook information down in the description, so check that out. And I'll leave some other purchase links. Since I bought this myself, you know, I'll leave some other links that may you rather order from, you know, so I'll leave those down there as well. But uh, anyways, yeah, nice car, you guys. I think it's going to do well. Uh, just some minor things you got to go through before you go and take it for a run. Uh, of course, WL Toys likes to use the same old controller. Uh, they've been using this thing for years. Even in my old uh, A979B has this one. I have an old six-wheeler WL Toys, this one here. Uh, that's the only thing I wish they would upgrade is this cheap controller and receiver combo. Um, you know, they could go, even though it's brushed, they can go with something different. You know, give us a little bit more of a, since they hobby graded uh, the car, I wish they would hobby grade the controller and receiver combo. But that's stuff that you'll want to change later. I'm going to end up putting a Dumbo uh, RC uh, receiver in here. Uh, like I said, I have the motor already. Um, and I think I only went with, I think I went with 4,300 or 3,800 kV. I can't remember, I'll have to look at the box. But I went with only a 60 amp ESC, I believe, on that one. I'll have to look again, because I'm only gonna run probably 2S mostly. Um, and it will get away with 3S with no problem, but um, I'd rather stick to 2S. That's all I need it for. You know, if you guys are trying to go first, racing things like that then you guys can set it up however you want but i'm going to do that on a on a later time i got a lot of things to go and review you guys so i'm behind and the weather hasn't been good so uh, you're going to see a lot of unboxing videos from me uh for just a little bit until i can go uh like i said get this thing squared away and then be able to fly some drones out there guys so look forward to that i know there's a lot of drone guys that follow me so i will have a bunch of drone videos coming up soon as well you guys so uh don't forget you got a little uh tire uh tool here i do recommend a metal one because these plastic ones kind of suck so uh but i'd go around just make sure these are all snug don't over tighten them uh, this likes to strip even when you go like this see it's already trying to strip so get a metal one go around make sure all your wheels are tight because manufacturers sometimes keeps them loose you'll take it for a run wheel come flying off um, if you're still having problems with it uh, i suggest using a little bit of that blue loctite don't use the red one or you'll never get the lug nuts off use the blue one uh, if you keep having continual uh, lug nuts popping off uh, the bad thing they did with this model here, the 144001, is the very first model here, the axles are not long enough. So the lug nut can't grip enough threads. So you'll have that problem with this one. They made a second version, which people never realize that there's actually two versions of these, but it doesn't say second version or nothing like that. You'll know because the axles are longer. So you'll get more thread when you're when you're screwing down the lug nuts guys and plus two i think they changed the esc in the second version as well so but uh just a note so you know but definitely go around make sure these are all tight even after a run just to make sure that way you're not losing that lug nut maybe even order a couple extra lug nuts just in case because i've had it happen that's why i keep stressing it to you uh but yeah that's basically it you got your manual and the parts there's a parts list in the back and how to assemble everything is right here. Everything you need to know. Um, if you need extra parts for this right now, since it's so new, you won't see a lot of stuff saying one, you know, one, two, four, zero, one, nine, or even the one eight model is because it's so new, but almost everything on here, um, basically the suspension, everything is the same guys. The shocks, 
other than these being red and this being purple caps everything's the same it's all the way down to the gears the motor uh, the ESCs are some of them are different you know so you can if you can find some of the older ESCs or change it out later with something else but everything here is basically the same all they did was take this model and stretch out the frame and change the color guys so uh, you can put these wheels on here if you want to black out go ahead I got some new contact foam wheels we're gonna try during a speed test so definitely hit the notifications and subscribe to the channel so you can see those videos coming up soon I'm gonna compare a speed run being completely stock and then I'll do a speed run with the contact foam tires you guys and we'll see if there's any difference so all right look forward to that video and a lot more videos coming too for drones and I know there's a lot of you drone guys that follow me so I won't keep doing all cars I'll be doing some drones as well again in the mix guys it's just the weather and the wind we're getting into winter so it's hard for me to do a lot of those drone videos so I start concentrating on these car videos during that time so all right guys I appreciate you watching Kurt thanks for letting me order this from you buddy like I said guys I'll leave his uh, link down in the descriptions if you want to order any of these cars from USA you can get them pretty quick if he has any stock left so all right everyone God bless and happy driving